rsync is a file copying tool you can use via the Linux command line, so it copies files between two locations, but rather than copying all files, it only copies the files that have been changed, so it's a much more efficient method of copying compared to CP or copying via a file manager. So you can use rsync either on a local machine or between two servers, so copying files over SSH for instance. There is a GUI version of rsync called Lucky Backup, I did a video on that a very long time ago. But for this video I'll be showing you the terminal method of rsync copying files on one machine between two folders. So the command is rsync. There's a few different switches you can use with it, which you can see with dash h. Uh, yeah, there's quite a long list here. The basics you'll need. rsync, dash a. Now dash a picks up quite a few other little switches, so basically it means recursive, keep permissions, as well as a few other things. V, verbose, H, human readable. Now you can also use delete. So if you delete a file on the source folder, it will be deleted on the target folder. However, if you delete a file on the target folder, it will not get deleted on the source. It will get copied over again. So the target will end up looking like the source. Then you choose the folder. So that'll be source and target. That's the basics of the command. So let's show it running. So I'll just take my videos folder and copy it over to temp slash vids, why not? So sending incremental file list. So it's had to create the folder because it wasn't already there. Yeah, no problems. And you can see it working through because there's quite a lot of data in the videos folder. Yeah, it's a surprise. Sent 2.7 gigabytes, received not much in return. You can see the rate it's gone at. So if I go and look at the temp folder, I've got this folder here called vids and in there are quite a few items. So that is the original folder and would you believe it? Surprise, surprise, they look the same. So let's show you what happens when you delete a few files. So I'll delete these four .cadenlive files off the source folder. And I'm going to delete a couple more .cadenlive files off the target folder. So what will happen when I run the command again is that the source will be replicated over to the target. Now it doesn't matter I deleted two .cadenlive files off the temp folder, they will still remain in my videos folder. So you can see it has deleted four files and copied two over. Run a bit slower that time, but you can see the speed up is different. It's much higher, Again, run the command again, nothing has changed, so it'll be done pretty damn quick. So that's the basics on how to use rsync to back up one folder on the same machine. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.